So the LG Wing was just announced and we're taking a look at our first gaming impressions on this device. And we'll also take a look at that camera gimbal to see what it presents. All right, so I've got to give it to LG though. They've created something really unique and interesting here with the LG Wing. Now the Wing, it looks like a standard smartphone, feels like a standard smartphone until of course you swivel it and then that gives you the secondary display now the secondary display is 1080 by 1240 it's about 3.9 inches the main display is 6.8 inches uh, and uh, that looks like a lovely display altogether overall the feel is a bit thicker than your standard smartphones uh, that you have nowadays but not too thick but it just feels really solid nice build by lg now you've got our uh, three cameras at the back uh, and those cameras of course uh, give you a 64 13 and a 12 with what they call the hexa motion stabilizer so that's the you know the gimbal that they talked about but what we really care about is what's under the hood and how this whole contraption works for gaming right so it's a snapdragon 765 uh processor you've got of course 8 gigs of RAM, you can go up to 256 gigabytes of storage. You also have micro SD expansion. So all those things are packed in here. It's a 4,000 milliamp battery. It's got a fast charging, quick charge of 4.0 plus. You've got wireless charging as well built into it. So you've got all the things you want in a standard smartphone. Uh, but when it comes to the cameras, I mentioned you've got that uh, gimbal rig and you've got a pop-up front facing camera as well. Now, as gamers, there are many things you can do. And with LG, they have a couple of setups here now when you basically swivel and open the device it's really easy to do very simple very easy to access what that allows you of course is you can use both displays for several different things so you can have uh, the top display you know watching a video you can have the bottom display going through say your text messages or Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want to you can also set this up now you have to go into the menu section and you go into display then of course you go into swivel uh, display or swivel actions and then you can set up the apps and there are specific apps that will work it's not every app basically skills uh, uh, to the second screen, but you can actually set up the apps the way you want to, so you can actually have that. So I have, of course, you know, two gaming apps to open up, which you can actually do. You can actually open up two gaming apps. You can also set up, um, you know, a game and maybe a YouTube, a game and Twitter, or whatever you want to.
I would prefer using the Pixel UI. So from my experience, if you love using your phone a lot and you want to have all your options, you want to be really specific with how to use your phone, then One UI and Samsung are one of the best ones for you. Now, I am a Google user, so having all these Samsung apps on the phone... So when it comes to gaming on this device, it's quite interesting. Uh, as the standard smartphone is using the main display, it works really well. You game really smoothly, everything is fine, and you can also swivel and continue gaming that way. But that at least gives you multiple options in terms of doing something else. Now, it doesn't make sense to run both games at the same time, which of course I showcased anyway, and that's very possible and you can have that. Uh, but of course, the smaller display, the swivel display is smaller, 3.9 inches, so things will get compressed. Your games can still run there, but it's not gonna look or feel good. Now, when it comes to using both displays to game, that, uh, that actually works well in terms of having the main display for gaming and your secondary display uh, doing something else. So usually I flip it around so it looks like an inverted T. And with that, I can have my Twitter on the very top in the, in the, on the smaller display. I can have my Instagram, I can have email, I can have YouTube while I'm watching say like Daniel's video and also gaming at the same time. Now, gaming temperatures while gaming, I've got about 99 degrees in terms of uh, temperatures, which is nice and is good. There's, I don't think there's any specific thermals, uh, but when it came to uh, playing two games at the same time, temperatures ran up higher to about 102 degrees. Now, when it comes to benchmark, I was not doing any benchmarks because this is a first impressions, but it gamed well. But I can tell you uh, that in terms of PUBG, PUBG, I didn't go, I didn't play at Ultra because Ultra was not available. I did play at Smooth at the highest settings available, which you can see on screen. Same thing also with, um, uh, with Call of Duty Mobile again, which is expected with a 765 processor, 765 5G. When it comes to the camera, the gimbal camera is pretty nice. It can be only activated, gimbals can be only activated in the swivel mode. So you can open up the camera with the phone regularly, but once you swivel or you basically slide the phone, it opens up the gimbal camera. And it has a couple of cool options, like they've got follow, pan and follow, this first person mode. Uh, I'm not best using the gimbal, so these are some of the results, but I did like what I saw. And I have to say that I would like to see more of that kind of camera integration, especially with the gimbal for more devices, because I think a lot of people will like to use that, especially creating content on a device like this, but it was pretty cool. Um, it, now, the other thing also is speakers. Speakers were loud. Uh, it is, I believe it is, it might be stereo speakers. I could be wrong, but I know the bottom fire speaker is loud. The top speaker is hidden underneath the, uh, the swivel display, if you will. Uh, and um, it is a loudspeaker, but you know, just take it as is. Again, these are fresh impressions on this device. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Would you use this as a gaming device, whether it's just using the main display or open it up to swivel just because you want to look at other content? I think that's the main thing you can do with this. It's not about having two displays or one display as a controller, which would be nice, um, but the idea of having that uh, display, main display for gaming, and then a secondary display to look at content, or even if maybe in the future have controls on the small display and then the main display is open for your game view. That would be nice to see as well.